50 Cent's boxing promotional company, SMS, has apparently filed for bankruptcy. Now, this don't surprise me because when 50 Cent initially tried to enter the world of boxing, it was with Floyd Mayweather. It was supposed to be a joint venture. But him and Mayweather fell out and then it became two separate entities. And I knew from then that 50 Cent was destined to fail because he didn't have any experience in the world of boxing in terms of the business side of it. 50 Cent apparently boxed semi-pro when he was very, very young. We're talking about, what, 15, 20 years ago or something like that. But in terms of the business side of professional boxing, 50 Cent had absolutely no experience whatsoever. And it's unlike any other business, really, boxing. It's uh, uh, certainly it's unlike any other business 50 Cent would have been involved in. So I always felt that he was destined to fail going at it alone without the help of Floyd Mayweather. So it don't surprise me at all. He hardly had any fighters. He had Gamboa. And you know what? I feel sorry for the guys who signed with him. That's who I feel sorry for. I guess it was a bad business move on their behalf, but I, I'm, I really don't know why they signed with him. That's what I don't understand. And I'm wondering how long it's going to be before Rock Nation Sports, which is Jay-Z's boxing promotional company, ends up the same way. Because I can't see Rock Nation Sports having a long-term future in boxing, particularly not when you've got guys like Al Heyman around and obviously more established figures like uh, Bob Barham and Golden Boy Promotions, I can't see uh, an outfit like Rock Nation Sports really going anywhere. And I expect them to eventually go the same way as 50 Cent and SMS. They just don't have the fighters. Who have they got? They've got Miguel Cotto. That's a good look. Don't get it twisted. Miguel Cotto's a good look. But he's coming towards the end of his career. And they got Andre Ward, who is not a big star. And his first fight is against Paul Smith. <laughs> Hardly a good start. So I, don't, I really don't expect... Rock Nation Sports to do much. I think they're going to go the same way as uh, 50 Cent's SMS promotions. Now, when I posted this article on Facebook, there were some people saying, oh, by the way, 50 Cent hasn't gone broke. I don't know why you guys are mentioning that because there was nowhere in the article that said 50 Cent went broke. And I certainly didn't say that 50 Cent went broke. Obviously, I know the difference between a company going bankrupt and a person going bankrupt. <laughs> so I don't know why people are mentioning that But anyway, that's on a side note Yeah, these uh, These Rappers trying to get in on the action In boxing I don't see it ending well for them At all Boxing is a sport you really have to have a passion for And I think you really have to grow up with To make it successful Because it's very, very hard business boxing It's not easy You really got to have a passion for it Or you really got to be in a situation Where it's either boxing or nothing for you To actually make it work To give yourself the motivation to do it And without Heyman on the scene now He's making it hard even for The established guys So Drop your comments below people Did you see this coming as well? Did you expect SMS promotions to fail And what's going to happen to the fighters Like Yuriokas Gamboa and the other guys Yuriokas Gamboa, you can see his career really Nosedived Once he signed with SMS I know he had the fight with Terence Crawford And obviously got knocked out in that fight <clears throat> But prior to that he was fighting Nobodies and he was pretty inactive So drop your comments below People, let me know how you feel about this story And do you think Anyone can make it now do you think any of these smaller promoters starting up in boxing or coming into boxing from different areas of business or entertainment, do you think they can make it? I know Al Heyman is a guy who was involved in the music industry himself. Don't get it twisted. But Al Heyman is an exception to the rule, I would say. He's an exception to the rule. And he, he's, you know, when you look at guys like Jay-Z and 50 Cent, they say they're good businessmen. I don't think they're good businessmen on the level of Al Heyman. I think that Jay-Z and 50 Cent are guys who have people working in the background for them. It's like with Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather ain't the brains behind his operation. Al Heyman is the brains behind his operation. <laughs> don't get it confused. Without Al Heyman, Floyd wouldn't have made even a fraction of the money that he made. And he wouldn't have made... And, you know, most of the good decisions that he made in his career. Al Heyman is the guy behind all that. And that's why people pay, you know, I'm sure Floyd paid top dollar to get Al Heyman's advice. 
obviously he's had as an advisor, business advisor. So yeah, um, I think Al Heyman is uh, on a different level in terms of business savvy to people like 50 Cent and Jay-Z, even though he is coming from a different uh, industry. And it has to be said though, Al Heyman apparently was a close associate for many years. I don't know how close they are now, but he was a close associate for many years of Don King. <laughs> so I don't know how much he learned from King. I really don't, you know, Al, Heyman, Al Heyman's a very enigmatic character. I don't know what his background really is and his connection to boxing, but uh, he's certainly done very, very well and he's making it difficult for anyone else to try and get in the promotional game in America. So yeah, drop your comments below, people. Let me know how you feel about this story. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.